show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hey, 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 I'm not on mute. So far, so good. Welcome, everybody, to the sixth edition of the Community Pulse. And this one's uh, really special uh, because I've got two of uh, our dearest of uh, artists and friends um, as co host and featured artist. And um, there was no particular order, it was uh, Kid Kane as the co host. Uh, that really wanted to um, share this uh, with uh, Scars and Shadow. As most of us know, they've uh, recently created, uh, um, had some really nice uh, chemistry together and they're just rocking with it. And I'm sure there's uh, more to come. I won't be the one to spoil it. Um, so let's, um, I have a, I have 130, uh, or 128 again uh, shout outs so um, in between our conversations I'm going to be reading a whole bunch of these out uh, there is some special events uh, coming up and um, uh, we start off with uh, Kid Kane uh, his uh, new uh, Brainstem Damage and it's a really cool track but what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce, uh, bring in Kid Kane himself so he's not backstage because I want to get these artists up a little sooner than I normally do. And Snooks, I hope you're happy because she insisted I show my face a little bit earlier and that I did. All right. So if we start scaring everybody, it's your fault. Well, look at all these people here. All right. Let's let's uh, let's do this. I want to bring on Kid Kane. Bro, <laughs> Kid Kane is in the house. You gotta, I gotta unmute you. There you go. Now I muted you. <laughs> Buddy, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, brother. Here. Yeah, welcome, Frank. Thank you very much. Appreciate this. This is gonna be a wicked, wicked community pulse event here tonight. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, all the thank you for coming in. As you all know, <laughs> you may hear the doggos. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Kid Kane show without the dogs, right? Okay. We didn't have the dogs as part and parcel. Um, I really want to shout out to uh, independent uh, Snooks and Queen uh, Survivor who's stepping in. Uh, obviously, we know how good of a job uh, Folk Punk does. He's visiting family, so he's not here uh, to help me out. So... I had to fly solo on this, and I've got so much help in this community. It was just everybody wanted to help. It was amazing. I uh, really appreciate. We've got a few people in here. We got Game Pro. We got Queen B. How you doing? Independent Mini United, um, pal. We've got Chad Freeman, Zach Fong. We got George Echeverria. Jorge, what's going on? Dom Father, Fifteenth Ben, my man. And uh, Hetriani's in the house. We have, uh, geez, I can go on forever. Kid Kane, talk to me. Anthony Richardson, am I missing anybody? Who's yeah. All up in here. Hello, hello. Hope everybody shared that big tab, the post, and their their channels. Rock and roll. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. This is wild. We we got uh, special artists today, right, Frank? Yeah, man. Killer yeah. Artists. Killer. Yeah, yeah. Now everybody knows how it works, right? The co-host has um, 
uh, one song and the featured artist gets uh, a four or five. And um, I asked Kid Kane to send me his song. And what does he do? Does not send me his song. He sends me a collab with um, Scars and Shadows. So I'm going to start it off with the, the, the song they did together. Why don't you talk about this one, bro? Uh, you know, um, I'm 2024, everybody was uh, hot 2023, you know, so we were always, you know, trying to level up from 2023. Let's move forward, you know, let's write some new music. And uh, Exposed came out because of all this news. Everybody's exposed to just all this grimy war you can all see the negativity between there's never anything that you're going to see positive. It's like, we're all glued to this BS government bullshit, everything else that's going on. I don't want to swear too much, but Frank, sorry about that. But listen, I, this is the reason why I wrote it because I think that it was best that we uh, kind of get a little taste of what an artist puts uh, their little flavor on what's really happening in the world. So I wrote a song called Expose, Exposing the News, Always Negative, Always Crazy, Chaotic. Everybody knows, you all watch it. But I had to reach out to one of the finest artists that's coming out and just has their own crazy, awesome, um, just a vocal technique and and sound that just went fit with Kid Kane, right? So I'm like, hey, Scars and Shadows, let's see what we can do. And we wrote the song Exposed, put it together with DJ Lenny. And uh, and then I had to make the video. And then Scars and Shadows took it upon herself to make two extra videos for it on her own. And so she put one on hers and I put one extra video on mine. And, uh, I think that's the one I sent you the one, uh, it's the more chaotic video. So this is the video that she actually created herself, uh, feeding off of, uh, off of the original video. I hope I use that one now, <laughs> 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 but you know what? I was kind of looking behind you. And I don't want people to think this is a pre-recorded show. It looks like the eclipse is happening right now as we speak, <laughs> right oh, over your shoulder, oh, over your right shoulder. That oh, sunlight. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right. Awesome. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Let's uh, put it on. Let's fire it up. Rock and roll. Thank you. 
How good is that? <laughs> Super cool. Let's get us back in here. Yes. That was awesome. The um, I'm not sure why this isn't going through. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I just uh, posted uh, the Bandcamp link for uh, Kid Kane. Um, we all know, uh, I think uh, Queen Survivor is posting his link, uh, all his links out there. And um, thank you, Queen Survivor. Yeah, to this, uh, I do want to say to to a lot of people that are involved in my community um, that haven't reached out to these communities that I'm involved with, and these are the same communities that Kid Kane and most of the artists in this chat and Scars and Shadow herself that we're involved with these communities, like what you saw in the beginning, Pete John's. Uh, um, Thomas Christ, 15th Bend, yeah. um, Independent Many United, Chad Freeman, um, uh, uh, Jade Star, and Ron uh, Ward. Um, all these channels, you can submit your songs. They all have their different formats and different criterias, um, but they're amazing. That's how my channel grew, and that's how it continues to grow, and it continues to grow with, with all of you out there. And the whole basis behind this community pulse is to share out whatever amount of uh, um, we we're talking about it backstage. If I have 1,800 subscriptions, uh, maybe about four of them are 400 of them are we all have the same amount and which leaves 1,200 out there that we can all tap into. And I can assure you all that anybody in my community you reach out to their music and and you check out what they got leave a comment they are going to be back on your channel and this is how we grow this isn't about holding our own subs and our own um this is how we grow and we grow together and i just okay. seen my man hetriani in there and so many more people kurt i don't want to waste any time because uh, i do want to get these shout outs uh um out of the way so we can uh, i'm going to start off with a view and then we're going to bring on our featured artist because she's in the um backstage and we got to get her up here um obviously we started off with kid kane and his new release uh that was awesome and guess what i forgot my glasses i'll try these ones <laughs> there you go frank <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can see the list yeah. <laughs> it's foggy <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna, I am might have yeah, to try. You're, you're saying, though, Frank, you're right. We are the spider web that grows here. Yeah. Know? Yeah, 100. So um, we got East Virginia Studios, who we featured uh, last week. Um, this is an amazing show. I really enjoyed uh, meeting them face to face. Um, once again, for seven months, we just bounced back and forth, enjoying each other's music. And here he is. I got to share him out with everybody. Uh, I know we met him on, I met him on Pete John's, um, but I really liked his uh, music and I jumped all over it and had been supporting him since. So I'm glad to see him part of this community now. Nice to see you, brother. Um, he's got a new release. Uh, now, what am I missing? Um, Indy's going to keep pace with me. Um, or maybe I have to keep pace with her. Uh, Scars and Shadows has uh, a new release also, uh, Taste So Good, featuring Emperism. We're going to get to hear that in a short while. Uh, Prince Prodigal, who was actually going to be on this show tonight, but we there was uh, some, some technical issues that we have to deal with, and then um, we'll get him on another show. Um, he's, he's got an amazing release called Much Love, uh, not Much Love, um, really cool track. Uh, JDL, I just saw one, I think it was like 13 hours ago, or 18 hours ago now, um, a Static X uh, cover called uh, Push It, did a really good job with that. David Cartret, 
with Runaway. Really nice uh, track, David. Well done. Son of Snake. I really love that 332 track. Um, Enzo Castelli. Castelli. He's from France. Uh, really cool music. If there's any French speaking, you don't have to be French speaking because music uh, unites us all. Uh, the music is really good and um, plays a lot. All of it is original music. Uh, excellent artist. Enzo, shout out. Um, Old Man Music is uh, somebody that I came across new uh, through 15th Bend. He should be on the new artist uh, section because he's definitely new to me. And he's got a, um, uh, a track called Rain. Uh, Caviar Kubrick. Um, guys, you have to check this out. This is top notch. I'm sure many of you. Um, I'm going to just assume some of these that I'm calling out. Um, we don't know. It's easier that way. Um, so Caviar Kubrick is amazing talent. Uh, really nice um, He's got a new track called uh, Cloud Trap Beat uh, Back When. You really enjoy his music. Um, 15th Ben really appreciates uh, high quality production. This is really cool stuff. Joe and Barry Glenn, uh, man, these two are just incredible. We all love Joe and Barry. Um, they released that Sweet Secrets. Um, whenever I see any of their tracks, I'm on Bandcamp instantly. Um, there's another really nice track, Live to Fly. I love that cover um, that he did, uh, Who Knows Where the Time Goes by Sandy Denny. And um, really nice job on that. Indigo Sunsets, um, The Blame. It's another uh, premiere. Fe uh, Ficho in the Croatian rocker. I know I met him through a collab he did with uh, Hetriani and Hubs. And really cool uh, band he's involved with. But he did a collab uh, featuring... That band, I, I'm so sorry, uh, Fijo, I forgot the name of the band. Um, but this one's featuring his band and Lini Perez and Boomer Um Brian's Drug Cave is another one of those um, um, peeps in my community. Really good guy. I try to hit him up on every track. Uh, he, he does release quite a bit. You're going to get at least uh, three, three a week. Um, he does a lot of drum covers, um, and this one's called Falling Apart at the Seams. Really cool stuff. And then my other uh, drummer buddy, Brian Drums, um, he's done a, a drum. Now, uh, once again, you all go to these people. You check out their, their music. Uh, it's worth listening to, and um, you'll be amazed. And, and a lot of these I'm going to eventually have up here on this uh, Community Pulse um jj ukulele i know uh, i think i met him through um um lori lori's mishmash and leany um it's amazing guitarist um multi-talented musician um he did um he's got uh, a duet with himself one one side he's playing ukulele and the other side uh, acoustic guitar really nice instrumental uh sonic race i think i saw him in the house i really love um, this channel is just, it's almost like about eight o'clock in the mornings is when I tip or no, sorry, about seven o'clock in the morning when I'm in the office and, uh, it's when I usually catch, uh, his music. He's, um, he's got a really nice band. Um, they did a release called solid ground, uh, really good stuff. Um, thanks for being here. Uh, John Schur, uh, Maze of Thoughts, a nice release this week. And Paul O'Farrell, um, he had a nice uh, release as well, just like this. I'm going to read just a few more, and we're going to bring on the featured artist. Uh, PJ Colby, I just noticed one today, uh, Bad Company uh, cover called Moving On. Um, one of uh, Hetriani really enjoys this artist, uh, Lithium Vandal. He talks a lot about him. Uh, brilliant artist. Um, uh, now good. Um, Bruise. It's a Vandal remix that he put out. Really cool track. Uh, Sticks for Guns put out a, a really cool one called uh, This Time It's Real. And so here's another one from my community. 
Charles Koffler music. Um, really cool, really cool dude. Um, really respectful. And like I said, um, uh, I really enjoy interacting with these, these um, um, friends. Um, he released a track, and it's, this one's in French, and it's a reprise, um, George's Brassen. Um, really cool song. And then it looks like I've got another Kavik, uh, Caviar Kubrick uh, track out there, uh, alternative, uh, alternative R&B beat. Um, badass uh, Brutus uh, guitar and uh, Bert Schult. Um, Johnny Won't Come Home Tonight. Really cool track. And here's another real, I, I think a few of you are subscribed and follow Dave's music videos. He creates a lot of videos to a lot of classic tracks, songs that you probably thought you'd never hear again. It's really enlightening. Um, and this one's called Make You Feel Good, uh, Make You Feel My Love by um, uh, Milk. Um, and <laughs> shit. <laughs> by Dylan and uh, Adele song. Uh, Bo Star, I, I've only got one. Bo Star's got quite a few out there. A real fun artist uh, to listen to. And I've got another Enzo Castelli uh, track in here. I guess I should have had him in a different section. Uh, Mark Wade uh, released a real cool track uh, called uh, Kiss Me or Kill Me. Um, it's with the his band, uh, The Amateurs. Uh, Wolfstone Studio, Summer Only You, Only We Know, um, a cover by Keen, um, and Jeffrey Bissot, um, Be Home Before Dark. I'm going to stop there because I'm getting tired. So we'll stop there, and that's uh, 32 shout-outs, uh, and I'm just dying All to amazing. get starts All up amazing. here. Yeah. Yeah, get your list up, people. Let's uh, let's all list our uh, community spider web, right? <laughs> I know a yeah, lot of those are just amazing, and I'm glad that you're you're sharing that all the time here because you know I caught a lot that you you mentioned out, and I went over. I'm like, I did not catch that, I, and some things are showing up on YouTube that are like old but new i was just talking to mr smith in the chat like i thought it was a new track that he just did with uh mish mishmash there at a collab and uh it's been a year ago so yeah youtube has a funny way of doing some things so we got to keep off the uh <laughs> keep up on it so yeah you know what a lot of us complain i am gonna add before i bring in uh, scars and shadow i don't want to keep her back there too long uh it's 743 um a lot of us complain, how you doing, Ray, um, about YouTube taking away subscriptions. I've seen it, yeah. I don't even know if it's that. I got a lot of people go over and they just click the thumbs, the like, and then they click the sub, and then they they go away. Like if, if you're on a stream, whether it's 15th stream or, or Thomas Christ or Metalhead Hippie, you're you're you go over you click the sub and you get back on to the stream and you listen away well that sub isn't gonna stick right. so a lot of us complain that youtube is taken away and maybe but i like to keep it simple first let's do the simple thing and let's not just go over to somebody's channel and click like it's really important if people are taking their time to come out to your channel go to their channel listen to what they have to offer Absolutely. Because I'm no better than any other artist out there. I'm no different than than any artist out there in the sense that I just want my music heard. Yeah. And I've got a platform where I could share it. Yeah. And I don't want somebody to go on my channel, just click the sub and walk away. Right. Um, because I see they're gone just as fast. Or they may get, be gone in, in six months. A, a batch of them will be gone. And that's where I believe it stems from. So yeah. Um, yeah. If, I, if I've got a rant tonight, that's my rant. We have to go over to each other's channel and check out each other's music because it's, it's a two-way right. street. Yeah. And you're going to lose subs faster than you're, you're gaining them. And it's not YouTube taking it away. 
It's yeah. our ego in some cases that we think, oh, YouTube took away 10 subs. Guess what? Those are probably the 10 that you hadn't gone to visit, yet they're coming to your channel to visit. That's my rant. On that note, I'm going to start off with this track. <laughs> and um, Love it. Love it. <laughs> yes, and introduce our featured artist, uh, Scars and Shadow. She's uh, instantly become everybody's sweetheart. Um, and this track is called Cry Baby. And then we'll go bring her on to um, talk about this track. Thank you. 
Isn't that awesome? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, guess what's next? Let's bring her on. She needs no introduction. It's Scars and Shadows. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Fucking right. I've got her on mute. Good job, Frank. Good job. <laughs> mute, mute your featured artist. <laughs> Hi, hi, Scar. What's That's going awesome. on? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's such real. a beautiful track. Yeah. All your songs, man, are so moving. Everybody in the community wouldn't. I just love it. Whenever your songs come on, man, that chat just goes, 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 goes. And there's a few artists it happens to, and you just happen to be one of them. It's just brilliant. Your music is incredible. Well, um loved by so many and now we all got to meet you through jade's uh interview and now you're on the panels and you're nervous just amazing <laughs> yeah don't be we're just uh three 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 guys up here on the panel and we're just having fun so glad you accepted this and it's uh Kid Kane uh, wasted no time, and it was funny that you had said the same thing on Indy's panel. If I go on, can I get Kid Kane on with me? <laughs> <It's> like, <yeah. laughs> You're awesome. Scars is yeah. so awesome. I mean, she's probably reaching out to a lot of people backstage and stuff, and uh, your music just sets the mood. Like, get those candles lit, and, like, <laughs> let's just... Oh. You feel that, right? The vibe. Uh, what What do you What do you uh, What's a lot of your inspiration come from there? Scar? Pain. <laughs> <laughs> we all can relate, though. Everybody can relate to that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I always say that there are people who write the happy songs, and there are people who write the sad songs, and I write the sad songs, and there are people who write the rock songs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And uh, you, you're always consistent, too. This you. next level. Right? Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, like, I guess, um, but you, you, you're you just, this year for 2024, you're getting into collabs now? Is that, yeah. uh, is that the new Scars and Shadows vision? You started it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reach out, yeah. artist. Get a hold of her. She <laughs> rocks. Yeah. It was fun. I know. And, uh, I appreciate that. Like, uh, you know, you take your time out and, uh, I could, you know, just couldn't write a better song that we could collab on. I just love it. I listen to it all the time. And, uh, it's just amazing. That, that tune just blew me away as well. It's just like every tune that you do, 
you have that there's artists that are out there that do mix things but you have that it that it factor to me i feel it you know and uh every tune is just fire right can i have some of that confidence there <laughs> <laughs> well it's pretty funny that you, you, you we don't we don't feel what you're feeling like we, we get the end result and the end result is beautiful we're listening to you right now and we're not feeling what you're feeling there either um what we're seeing is beautiful um it's just it's funny i think it's just a musician thing that um yeah yeah it's just we're our our own worst critics 100 percent 100 percent yeah so i i do have some questions because um I, I i don't remember now since you've been on uh jade's interview which was absolutely spectacular um but when did you when did you start writing because i know you, well first question like when did you start to write i started writing poetry like when i was about 13 or 14 and then i started turning them into songs Probably when I was about 17 or 18. Right. So I was kind of young. Yeah. Well, that's, where, that's where I find a lot of artists start off with is poetry. And when you get hooked on writing poetry, it becomes you. It is you. It's, And then you sometimes probably feel like, it becomes natural writing poetry and then you convert it into your music and then that becomes your total total aura around your poetry yeah i can feel that because uh like i that's what i did too when i was young and that's all i used to do i used to always picture myself you know writing real mu songs when i was a kid but i wrote it as poetry right is that something that you all you know extended from frank's question there is that what you did as well yeah, it is. Um, I started doodling Led Zeppelin and ACDC and all these other rock bands. And then I started writing and then I just started creating stuff. Yeah. And I liked it and I just kept doing it and playing with words. I like to play with words, mm. basically. Yeah. It becomes like, uh, what do they call that? Uh, subliminal messaging. Right? <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's well said. Because I mean, there's there's writing a song, like a story, but then there's there's just so many ways you can phrase a sentence, and and yeah, you either have it or you don't. And and just as I said it, I see Brad example come up on. He's another one that can phrase these words and and songs and sentences and just make them gel and just flow and. You definitely have that. And yeah, that's awesome. And we are glad that 15th Bend introduced you to, to us. And um, I know you had, uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but you weren't happy with the Spotify platform. And um, I'm glad because we got to, <laughs> we got I to have you here on the YouTube, in our too. YouTube family. Yeah. I'm yeah. very grateful to 15th Ben. It was very nice of him to do what he did. I mean, when he offered to play my my, my music, it, I, I was like, what? <laughs> Why would he want to play my music? <laughs> so yeah. it was, I was very grateful. Yeah, 15th Ben's like that. He puts him, like himself last. He puts everybody before him yeah. all the time. And um, he's very consistent like that, too. You and know? humble. Humble, very humble, just amazing, you know, very approachable. Simple. Everybody in here in the community, I'm starting to get to know each and every. Like, there's so many of us. If I can get to know each and every one of everybody here, you know, individually a little bit more, that's my kind of mission. And uh, over the time, everybody's busy. I can see, you know, but do what we can, you know, and get a little bit more out of our viewers and a little bit more, you know, uh, you know, know, knowing how you know, what they, what they do, how they're kind of all the varieties and the yeah. creative souls. Yeah. Totally. Totally. You know, uh, scars, let me ask you how many, um, so when was your first recording then from writing the poetry? 
it was right before I started playing with my with my band. Um, I got out of a very bad place in my life, and uh, that's what I did for therapy. It helped me. Yeah. So I yeah, use music as my therapist. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't well, fixed that- me, but <laughs> it's helping a little. <laughs> it helps take the edge yeah. off. <laughs> Yeah. No. Did you There's play that shows old... as well with your band? Did you like play like, yeah. shows? Oh, yeah. Good. Even had a uh, Iggy Wood from the uh, football team. He was at one of my shows a long time ago. Oh, wow. And it was not planned. I mean, he wasn't there to see me. I don't know how he ended up there, but he was there and it was kind of wild. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay. I I remember doing a contest. It was our band against a bunch of other bands in Cincinnati. I live in Ohio. And um, we played at Bogarts. And it was, I had this little girl come up and ask me for my autograph. And of course, you know me, I cried. Because <laughs> that meant a lot to me. And I was like in my early 20s when that happened. So. Wow. What a feeling, right? Yeah. yeah it made me feel rush. good. It made me want to keep doing what I was doing. Yeah. Get so butterflies gonna... when you're on stage too, the little butterflies and when you're young there. Oh, I, I'm nervous. As... I'll get out. <laughs> you know what? That's funny you say that because when I was younger, I had no fear. Oh, no. I'm going to take that back. It was freaking <laughs> fucking high as a kite. And I guess you had no fear. That's probably why I got high. The uh, what I'm gonna do is if you guys don't mind, I don't help, I'm, Frank. <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <laughs> I just, yeah, sorry, it was a slip. So, um, I'm gonna read out some more of these uh recent premieres that came out uh, uh last week, and I will apologize if there's people out there um that have had uh, premieres. If you can help me out, there, you know, believe it or not, Manny is one of my um. Uh, a really good friend, and we chat off uh, often um, outside of these chat rooms, and yet I don't get any notification for any of his premiere. So what I'm getting at is, and um, if there's anybody out there that I've missed something, please email me. Um, email it to me. Let me know there's a premiere coming up. Uh, Matt, just this afternoon, Mateus uh, sent me something. Um, just send it to me. It doesn't hurt, right? Either I have it um, up um, already or I don't. Um, but typically you'll know if I do because you all know I do take the time to comment. Even if it's well done, I will listen to the whole track and um, you'll know I've heard it. Um, so I want to continue. We're at number 33 of 128. Um, Emperism uh, released a, a real cool track called majestic um entity <laughs> and we we got a nice uh, collab coming up um jay Luttrell, uh featuring An- angie uh mistretta and dan terpsta um released a, a real cool track and our lady campion did a cover of a frank terzo uh song called tired some and i think she did a beautiful job on it and I'm so honored that she even wanted to uh, be a part of it. And um, she also has uh, a new show. I know she's in the chat and uh, um, one of the mods, if you can verify, I'm not sure if she's going up again on Wednesday. So I wasn't able to put it in. I should have reached out, but I've been so busy. Um, but she does have a, she did do a show. You can still catch it uh, in replay. It was really nice live dinner music with Lady C. Um, Lord Zetress, um, um, Ice War, um, Unseated, Unconquered guitar cover. Rose Ackerman, uh, not many of you know of Rose. She is going to be on next week. If you want to get a head start, uh, let her know. Uh, give her the support. Um You don't have to let them know I sent you because that's not what this is all about. But just go over there and uh, give her some support. You're gonna be you're gonna be amazed at what you hear there on her channel. If you like acoustic guitars, you're absolutely gonna love uh, Rose Ackerman. 
many of you already know who she is. Uh, she released one called Burn It, Burn it All Down. Um, Forest of the Wolves uh, had another release, uh, Space Riders. Sylvia Blasser with just a beaut. Um, Ocean Symphony. Um, she was on Bandcamp also. I purchased that one. Um, Guitar Cams, uh, uh, somebody I met uh, quite some time ago. Um, he came into our community and uh, life happened. So, um, but he's back and I see him hanging around. Um, he did a Nirvana cover um, called Polly. Really good job on it. And Tack Full House 5150. We all know Tack, brilliant guitarist. Um, the Padded Pedal Room. Yes, another sighting of Francis. More and more. Once seems like he's putting out one a week, whether it's a collab or a solo. Um, but uh, he's released another original called um, Please, Please Leave My Soul in Peace. Really cool title. And no Lake uh, released one, another one called uh, Contact Lost. I think this is an ambient musical. Yeah, I think it's about um, maybe 12 minutes long. Um, really good, relaxing piece. Uh, Guitar Hack. Um, a lot of people know that he does a lot of album reviews, and this one's a recommended album review, number 33. Um, Goodbye June is the band. Um, Acts and Nachos. A cover of uh, Dillard's uh, track, Dooley. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, they're both just beautiful people. Uh, Lunar Vibe, uh, all the way from Italy. Uh, God's sake. Um, I really want Lunar Vibe on this channel. Metalhead hit me, my brother. Um, Weltenkinder, um, or I should say Weltenkinder, um, released a track called Springtime. Another brilliant artist, uh, Adam Holtz. He should be in a different section. He is probably, but he uh, has released uh, about three tracks. Um, really nice, easy listening uh, music. A really good supporter of my channel and many others. I've seen him, um, his comments on other people's music. Uh, you really should go check him out. Uh, great guy. And then we got Avid Beats, uh, another top top-level uh, production um, artist, um, happy trap uh, type beat. And then uh, I want to get into uh, multiple singles because, um, sorry, multiple releases. There are a lot of artists out there that have released uh, more than one. One example I don't need to use as an example <laughs> is uh, our man Robbie Stingle. Um, sorry, Robbie, I was not going to post 16 links. He's released 16. He should be in a world's book of records, right? Um, yeah, so he's got 16 uh, tracks out there, so I just put out to his channel link. Um, I do want to shout out one person in particular, this uh, Italian artist called Andreani Amicucci. Um, she's brilliant techno. Um, you guys are all... You, I'm sure a few of you, I've noticed a few of you have already gone over to her channel because I've been sheltering her out now for five weeks, six weeks. But she put out a real special track for me, and I'd love uh, if Indy can highlight this one somehow, if that's possible. And she she titled it, For My Friend Frank Terzo, Respect. And it's a metal song. For some reason, she thought it was metal, but it's pretty cool. Um, or she just did that because she definitely i replied to her and i said wow you do metal she goes i've never done metal before in my life i just want to give this one to you so wow. it's really nice uh, yeah you got to check it out it's freaking brilliant. and Great. let's get up. the language <laughs> barrier although i speak italian i'm from the island the south so my challenge my italian she would not understand hers is proper Italian. My English isn't even that good, so yeah, I can't help her. Um, and then she she's got a few more uh, releases out there. Frank Mel is going to be on the show uh, soon. Nice. Uh, we all get to meet Frank. Uh, he released a couple of track "Voices of War" and "United uh, in Heaven." Uh, as we all know, beautiful music. Um, Leroy's musical journey has got a couple tracks out there. Maybe there's three, but two that I know for sure: Space Cadet, a David Bowie cover, 
and a uh, cover of uh, The Who, See Me, Feel Me. A really nice job on that. My buddy Toothpick Vic, if he's not in the chat um, yet, he'll definitely be on replay. There's another uh, channel that I really suggest you guys go check out. He just jams. Um, reminds me a lot of uh, Dan. Uh, he's got great music and like maybe about four or five jams a week. He does a lot of covers. This one, I really like the, the live uh, Sweet Jane thing that he did. Um, and he also did a cover of the, the gets another shot of whiskey. Um, really cool channel, really cool dude. Uh, again, I encourage all of you to go, uh, check these uh, channels out and really check it out. Just don't go there, hit a sub and say new friend here. I'm subbed. Um, go check out their music and pay the respect, uh, they deserve, uh, Karen Baldwin. Uh, I've got three. I know for sure she's had about four or five. A brilliant uh, pianist. Um, I will uh, try to call it out the same as I do. Um, she's got, uh, geez, I just lost my train of thought. Where is he? Where is he? Um, I'll come back to it. Brilliant uh, pianist. A lot of originals. Um, she does some covers, but everything for the most part is all uh, original compositions. Um, she does a lot of, um, um, there's his name there, Michael uh, H.C. Um, on guitar. Really good stuff. Go check out Karen Baldwin. I, again, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are uh, sub to her. Uh, Leela, our very own Leela, uh, released three tracks. She's on a roll. And she did promise this uh, a few weeks ago, um, a couple of months ago, that she was working on quite a few tracks. And she's released three, Arsenic on the Rocks, Way Too Late, Painted Porch is a remix. It's one of my favorite songs of hers. You'll also find her on Bandcamp and uh, Spotify. Um, Synth, Synthworks uh, put out a couple tracks. Um, Kubrick, uh, 72, Kubrick Lover 72, Brian, uh, has put out a couple tracks as well. And like I mentioned, Robbie Stingle's got about 16 out there. Um, now, here's a channel that um, I'm trying to get her on the show. So maybe some people going over to support her. Well, um, she's very busy. Um, but it's uh, she's got two different tracks, uh, channels. She's got Jenny's Country Music Channel and then Jenny's Pop Channel. Really cool stuff. Does covers, does originals, but for the most part, covers. Um, she released a couple covers uh, closer, uh, a cover of Susan Ashton, and um, Trouble in the Fields, a cover of uh, Nancy Griffith and Maura O'Connell. Um, Tobias H. Reach, Reese, uh, every once in a while, he'll uh, bless us with a, with a nice track. This uh, past week, he's blessed us with two. 2.1 and 2.0 um really nice. cool uh tracks yeah midnight bandit uh hadn't heard from him for a while uh, but i seen a couple out there i um i gotta get out to band camp and catch up to a couple of his and there's adam holtz who i mentioned earlier um i'm just gonna go with four more uh four or five more because i do want to shout out some new artists um Lizza Day. You, uh, many of you have already seen uh, Jade's, uh, of course, Jade's interview. Um, our man, Crimson Crux, emails me and says, hey, listen, I think I can get Liz on the show. Uh, would that be cool? And I said, listen, you get Liz on the show, you get to be the co-host. And, and uh, bouncing back and forth, he put it together. So she's going to be on the show. And, yeah, that's going to be another real cool one. Um, where are they? Did I miss one? Right on. Oh, yeah. April 22nd. Yeah. So in a couple of weeks. So Nate is going to be um, co-hosting that. So anyway, she's got uh, three releases, and I think I saw a fourth one today. You got to go over to her channel, check her out. Um, nice. Old Man Music Rain, I already called it out earlier. I thought I had it in this section. I met through uh, 15th Bend. Uh, Brad uh, McLaughlin, uh, Tears of Fire, 
uh, awesome track. I think I've met him on um, Thomas's along with Chris uh, Marigoth, uh, feature featuring Estelia. Uh, no breath left. A really cool track. I'm featuring these these artists. You all have to go out and and check them out. Like these are top production, amazing. Uh, all of these that I'm listing here. Uh, Soul. Uh, many of you probably have already been there. Already dead. Um, and then here's a real cool one, East Virginia. And this is how the community is going to grow, folks. Um, Sean Lennon reached out to me and said, really good job on the stream. Somehow along those lines, I'm not going to lie and try to, um, some along the lines of that. And I went to check out his channel and it's just brilliant music. So I met him through East Virginia. So this is how this community is going to grow. And we got a, um, these two links that um, Indy's going to put out. It really is worth going to check out. I'm going to shut up. And <laughs> no, that's killer. <laughs> the spider web, you know, as it grows, yeah. new artists. I'm loving the names, loving the titles, willing to, you know, want to go and check it out and uh, crank yeah. it up, right? <laughs> and don't go away because soon's going to come. The next uh, topic is Doom for Others. That's my favorite. And yeah, I want to shout out a whole bunch of people that are consistently doing for others. And uh, I'm telling you, that pays more than you know. Yeah. Um, Crimson Crux. There you are. Crimson Crux. <laughs> so um, let's get back to music. Who the frick wants to hear Frank Terza talk all night? Um, <laughs> when we got Kid Kane and Scars here. Kid, where'd you get them eyes? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that a commercial? Jeepers, creepers. Where'd you get them? It's a horror movie. Oh. It is. And it's a commercial. <laughs> yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, that's great. This uh, community keeps growing. I'm loving it. I'm getting to check out new music every night, you know, and uh, that's such inspiration because, like, the new artists that you're going to have on your channel here, Frank, we're going to get to know them. You know what I mean? And even some of the community artists that we have here that you're going to bring bringing up, it's going to be killer. Like a lot of us didn't get to really, um, you know, get to see a lot of these artists and, and their background. And like we have scars and shadows here today, really get to know her, you know, and really get down to see what they're all about. <laughs> Show me your fangs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares for sure. I'm already having trouble sleeping. Don't get, now. don't make me go get my creepy dolls. <laughs> oh, no, man! I used to hide my sister's dolls under her bed. <laughs> so, um, I I want to play another um, song of yours, okay. stars. Um, and the next one on the list is, um, I feel just like a splinter. I just love this title. Obviously, I love the song. Tell me about the song, though. <laughs> Not gonna cry. Not gonna do it. Um, it's about you could cry. it's about being different and weird <laughs> and not accepting who you are in life. I'll just I just don't like myself. I never have. I just um because of shit I've gone through a person in my life for over eight years, uh, beat into me to be a certain way. I wasn't allowed to have friends. I wasn't allowed to talk to anybody. I was isolated and abused and it was a freedom song for me when I wrote it, but I was still going through all those doubts and who I am believing in myself, liking myself. So that's what it's about, basically. And I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> wow. It's absolutely beautiful. On that note, let's get right into it. Wow. Yeah. It's beautiful, Scars. Thank you. I almost removed the whole video. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Wow. Ooh, wow. Thank you. No, um, that was absolutely beautiful. And thank you, so everybody in the chat, for your comments. Yeah. I appreciate I, it. I'm just blown away. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, what you said before that, you know, that people don't realize what artists do before the song is written, what we go through. And and uh, I'm glad that you shared that throughout, what, you know, that. Uh, I survived it, though. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we and that's what I was going to say. Yeah. And that's why I do to help other people know that they can get out of those situations. Yeah, there's a lot of dirt bags out there. Um, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of, but there's a lot of love. And you've got this community. I've got this community. Yeah. Um, I feel you in so many different ways. Um, your music touches us all. And that was so freaking moving. Thank you. Um, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Um, Amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna do, um, give you a little break to um, doing for others. And yeah, I didn't have my glasses on. I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> I mean, I had the glasses on, so I'm looking at the screen. I'm wondering why isn't it moving? <laughs> I forgot they hit play. Oh well, you knew there's gonna be at least one or two of these. Yeah. But um, so doing for others, always on the top of the list is Lini Perez, constant. Um, uh, Lini and Independent Many United, they share every freaking channel out there without any hesitation. Um, incredible for this community. Yeah. Does so and much Indy, for the community. Yeah. Big shout out. Thank you. you Everybody's support music. for everybody. And... Uh, I totally have to say from the top of my heart too as well. You know, thank you, Indy. Thank you. Yeah. Everybody's been sharing, you know, and sharing and caring. That's where it's about, right? You know? Very yeah, great. It, I love that saying, sharing is caring, and but so do it. Yeah. Everybody says share, 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 but so do it. You know what I mean? Um Dan Anderson's another one that uh, shares everybody's streams. Whether you, even if you're just a friend of Lini's or Lori's or mine, is going to share your music. Um, never asks anybody to come to his channel. He's always pushing other people's channels. And I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, a track that he released called Frozen in Time. Um, you can guarantee you're going to hear it on 15th Ben's uh, stream. Um, in Metalhead Hippie 100%. Um, oh, yeah, I counted him as a number. Yeah, he's the man that's known to bring the most positive energy um, wherever he goes. Uh, Lori's Mishmash. Uh, once again, I know it's been a couple of weeks since her last uh, um, stint of uh, doing that uh, uh, celebration for Folk and Bluzer and um, Feisty Feather and their family. Um, shout out to Lori, and she continues to try to keep everybody awake um, so we can go um, like a, a pre-party for Gary Hub's streams. Um, she's now officially Gary's manager, and I love it. And um, she does an amazing job. Uh, it's a real fun um, a stream to go see on Friday nights just before Gary's. And um, um, Jorge uh, Echevarria. Th yeah, this guy is wonderful, man. He he, and I always forget to put him on this list, but I didn't this week, and I'm glad I saw him in here. He's another one that is he's on everybody's stream. He's nothing but just good vibes. Um, always uh, comes and checks out what we have to offer. A real cool uh, dude, and he's got a nice little channel. You go check it out. There's a lot of interesting things in there. Uh, that he does just randoms is pretty cool. And I do want to shout out Doctor's Orders. Doctor's Orders. I can't do it like Jay does. <laughs> and she said, <laughs> I don't have the toys either, the effects. Right. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, um, he's got this. He started this. Um, maybe it was before, but I think I've only seen two. Um, he's, he calls it the Spin Doctor's Spins. Um, but what he's doing is he's sharing other people's music and posting it on his channel. Wow. Um, he posted Dragon Lady's uh, music experience, a song that she released um, called As I Sleep, um, that she released for the Music for Life um, uh, charity um, album that Russ uh, spearheaded and other people in the community uh, for teenage uh, cancer. And she and he also put out another one by Liz a day and she'll be right. Um, same thing through the doctor spins spins. It's pretty cool. Go check out uh, doctor's orders uh, for what he does for this community and the, the role he played in releasing uh, music for life. Um, it's pathetic the amount of uh, subs that uh, he has. Um, and then, uh, yeah, Feisty Feathers. Um, Feisty's always up there, does random streams. If anybody's uh, uh, not feeling well or is down or um, she's yeah. first to be right up there, does a pop-up screen and, and starts playing others' channels. And she has a lot of fun, uh, a lot of fun stuff up on her um her channel. Um, I do want to call out some upcoming events in case uh, people are getting tired of listening to my voice. Um, 15th Ben sent me a notification that he's going to be going uh, live. He just wanted to make sure everybody knew he's going live this Thursday, but more importantly, he's got a surprise for all the Bensters. He didn't even tell me what it is, but it's... Um, it was important for him to have me uh, post this out there tonight. Go, I don't think the the stream is set up yet, but um, uh, keep your head up, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and we all know what that uh, stream does. Kanchime's Funk Fest uh, was a success. Um, it's not going to be up on this uh, section here, up and coming, but um, it was a lot of fun. We got to see a lot of... Uh, um, our community artists uh, up there. Unfortunately, I had to back away down at the last minute because for some stupid reason, I thought I was able to play and there was no way um, I could do it. So, um, yeah. So this, go check it out on replay. Uh, you really enjoyed it. A lot of people um, were there, uh, artists and, and in the chat. And it was uh, co-hosted by... Um, Kurt um, and then uh, Thomas Christ I want to shout out uh, Thomas uh, Christ and uh, has uh, Crimson Crux as a as a guest and they're doing a CD baby and content ID um, there's a lot of Q&A um, Nate's uh, seems to have a lot of knowledge on how you can set up uh, not even just CD Baby, but how you can set up your uh, distributor. I use TuneCore, and I'm happy with them. Most people use DistroKid, and a lot of people are using CD Baby. But I do know that with CD Baby, there's been some uh, channels being channel strikes, I think oh, they wow. call it. I don't know, but hmm. there's been some issues. Yeah, because they um, stamp it a little bit somehow when you uh, put it into their, um, you know, when you submit it or something like that. And yeah. Then, I, and if you want to play it on your channel, it gives you a strike, right? Is that what yeah. you're saying, Frank? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know exactly, but we're going to know on uh, tomorrow night. All right. So it's going to be at 8.30 tomorrow night. Wow. Um, also, tomorrow night, uh, Mr. Smith has a drum stream at 7. Um and then Crimson Crux has a, a release, and 15th Ben guessed it. It's on Thursday, and it's at 8.32. Um, oh. <laughs> let's go, Crimson Crux. Yeah, the song's uh, called Glitch. I can't wait. Yeah, Such I've a seen the preview. great artist. Yeah. Both of them. Uh, this one's fe featuring Paul Martinez. I don't know if I know him, or is he introducing uh, Paul to the community? But regardless, you know it's going to be uh, a banger. So, and then I'm going to just do a couple album releases. I've been mentioning for the past four weeks, uh, King of Rockets, a uh, new album was launched on the fifth of this week, uh, Fork the Old uh, Algorithms. 
Um, it's the title of it. Um, and then uh, Cubic Lover, um, he announced a few weeks back that his album is in the works and wow. will be titled Mother Earth. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to leave it because we're at 101. So I'm almost done with those. And I just really enjoy um, continuing this discussion with our featured artist. Yep. Scars and Shadows took this community by storm since uh, 15th Bend introduced uh, uh, to this community. Um, Metalhead Hippie wasted no time um, into getting her onto his stream the very next day. And from there on, I don't think you even have to send anything to, to Jeff. Uh, he played anyways, if you did forget. Um, <laughs> <Okay>. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. You've gained uh, that right. And, and this is what I talk about, respect in the community. Yes, I've been ranting on it. Probably going to be this the basis of this whole show, and I'll be doing this every week. She wasted no time. If you go to her about us, nothing about her, pretty much. It's You'll see it right there. 15th band metalhead hippie it's it's just beautiful the, the those are little things to me that mean a lot and says a ton so i'm just on. very grateful very grateful and i love everybody in this community is amazing everybody the people that listen the people that are artists everybody's so talented and i love the diversity and I love just how everybody accepts each other, and and it's a family. It's just I think it's beautiful. Well, we love you, Scars. Love you Every, too. Yeah, <laughs> hugs. We uh, like you got a lot of love, and um, I'm I'm hoping that uh, it's just bringing you the next level to influence you to create the best out of you because what we're hearing is just incredible, and it's. We want to hear more. Straight Thank up. You. Just keep bringing it, you know. Thank keep you. Bringing it. And, and you know she's got so much still to offer. Like, oh. it, it, it's it's just amazing what you're, what you're doing right now. Uh, I don't know how you do it, but um, that's a gift. That's a gift, and uh, we're the recipients of this gift that you have. Thank you. And Thank you. Um, yeah, you, you, if you want, people, uh, yeah, you can people tell vibe on that too. Frank, like you say, it's a gift, you know, I, because people need that kind of new and kind of that new kind of uh, feeling in them. I, I, I believe that, like with music, like everyone's looking for that some sort of special thing out of a song. And uh, I'm telling you, when you have all those wrote a full song like like the last song we just heard with scars here and you can just you go through the whole emotions of it really and then i feel it everyone's feeling i could see the chat just blowing up like they're feeling for you you know and um people don't realize what artists go through like i said earlier to write a song just one song what people have to go through just to write one song let alone a whole album right i think all artists go through that pain in life that's how we're artists i think yeah we tune into the the emotions right i really believe that well, well said well said and i was going to touch on that because many of the artists in this uh, community and i think that's where what brings us together is yeah. e even um, Jeff has said this um, many times. We all have that one thing in common, you know, and whether we want to believe it or not, we need each other's support. Yes. And we found a place where we can share our gifts. Yeah. And the biggest gift of all, and I've said this many times, is our queen survivors, our independent, many united our Pookie Ann, um, th their generosity in this these communities, how they support us as artists, and it's it's faithfully. incredible. So if faithfully, one hundred percent, and if we're reaching out and we're doing something for them, that's that's our gift. But look at the gift we're getting back, 
You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. We have this beautiful platform. And once again, this is what I want to try to do is, is just blow this up and, and let's, let's bring us all. We, we, we can all do this together. Rise. I mean, I'm, I'm, I can see the finish line from where I'm at, but there's so <laughs> many right. artists that are coming up, coming up behind me and um, that we can, we can bring them up. Um, I think we all need to be up there. Most of our music out there should be on the radio, but fuck okay. that. This is good enough where it is. Um, we're getting so much love here. Um, maybe one day it'll get out there, but for now, I'm I'm good where it's at, and I'm happy to be here. I do want to play the next song. Um, the next one in this order is uh, maybe the angels will come home. Uh, come tomorrow. Talk to us. <laughs> yeah. Would you want me to just uh, play it, Scars? Oh, I'm sorry. You wanted to know about sorry. it? Yeah, sorry. yeah. <laughs> so um, you froze. I'm thinking. Uh oh. <laughs> um, my dad. Uh, my dad's got stage four cancer right now, so I, that's why I've not been very oh. present a lot here and there lately. Um, but oh, he's doing a little bit better. His chemo's helping a little bit. But this song was about it when I found out about it. Actually, this is one of the newer ones, Kid Kane. Um, wow. So this is like my prayer song to the angels about my dad and also about the darkness in the world uh, and the pains that we go through dealing with people that we love that are dying from issues health-wise. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Scar's dad. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> hopes and prayers. Hopes Thank and you. prayers. If there's uh, yeah. Keep us updated on on that for sure. He's you know? he's got twelve months to live. They said pretty much, but um, we're going to try to make it as quality as possible for him. So that's be, what we've been be doing. Be strong, yeah. Be strong, be there. Yeah. And turn I, it into music if you need to. You know. Yeah. The best year of my my life with my dad, and I'm sure everybody out there who's who's on my Facebook and Instagram was his last year it was not that the other years weren't good but that last year was the best year you know what i mean and it's brought me it brought me so much joy and happiness and closure yeah like it's it's it yeah you make this the the best years that you've had and well i know when he's gone he's always going to be around me anyway i believe I believe our family members are always around us all the time, watching on, over us. Hey, Frank, we don't let the roses die, right, my friend? Right. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. So let's uh, let's have a listen to this beautiful track. Waiting for dawn to 
Wow. Let me unmute. Wow. How beautiful was that? <laughs> what? What? The cane. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah how to how to live the moment that's awesome it's beautiful <laughs> i'm gonna make you play in one of my next videos <laughs> just just from the stream yeah don't worry i won't ask for royalties <laughs> made him sign a waiver he's mine <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that was Keller. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, that was absolutely beautiful. Love that. Yeah. And like I said, man, whenever whenever one of your tracks comes on, whichever stream we're on, it's just it just lights up. It's incredible what you do. Thank you, everybody. And I can't see the type, so thank you so much. Oh, you're getting a ton of love. You can check this all out. I'm gonna uh, watch it later. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and once again, what? I'm just you got like a special aura about you. Like, thank you. doesn't she? Wow. I want to thank both of you two for doing this. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you, Frank, oh. for having us on here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, geez. Thanks for coming on. It's like, like I said, uh, at first, uh, I think it was just Michael that, um, uh, Michael Thompson. That's, uh, that agreed and so it kind of left gaps in between and then then i realized i was getting emails and people were coming on the show and i just kept forgetting to reply to them or or not seeing the replies replies and i yeah. suck I, there's no excuse <laughs> but um <laughs> so it's actually filled up right to uh, june 24th i think wow. i've got cool. one spot in between yeah, where, um, yeah, so we've got some a lot of great artists and um, Gars, I and Kid Kane, I thank you both for coming on and making this cool. And like I said, I'm trying to keep it interesting, not that yeah. that same old face like mine that we see on these panels and on the streams. I, I, I just want something different that a lot of people. You know, I know you're on uh, Jade's uh, interview, but that was a few months back. And um, you're just an amazing person. And I knew I knew this was going to go over really well. Especially Jade was wonderful with me. She, she, I was so nervous. And she, she met with me the day before and calmed me a lot. <laughs> She's like, just, just you'll be fine. <laughs> but she helped, she helped me calm down. Yeah. Shout out to Jade. She rocks. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And that's, um, and she knows what she's doing because up until that, there, there was no way I was going to be playing live anywhere. Once I got on that interview and I got to know people more and she made me feel so relaxed, I was nervous as shit. Right. But after that interview, you kind of, I kind of started to, I felt my confidence starting to go up, yeah. you know, I still yeah. sound like I do now, but <laughs> it'll, we'll get there. <laughs> I think that's also another thing with artists is confidence. We lack that for some reason. But then we don't realize like we can sing our way through anything or yeah. write our way or play that's, our way. I couldn't do what Lady Campion does, how she does covers or Lori, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I, I have to make up my own. I couldn't do it. If I'm I was same. just singing somebody else's song like they do, I could not do it. I just couldn't. Yeah. So that's a, a whole other talent in itself, I think. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah. 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 I think I've only got three yeah. covers. Some artists do covers like so amazing and then can sing everything. And yeah, then, absolutely. And when we get in our, our zone, it's it's per song, you know, so you kind of uh, do your best per song and, and get that out. But then sometimes you can't just do another key, like another key signature may not work yep. for that, you know, for the, that artist. So that, that's another thing too. Like, um, 
Like Catriani could probably solo on every key. We all know that, right? Yeah, so like, absolutely. Well, oh, geez, don't let me. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to start on that because I keep. I don't want to spoil anything, but you guys going to be amazed that uh, I should have had him here in the upcoming album. He's working on this album. I don't even know why I didn't put him out here. I'm you're talking about that. Yeah. Talk to the guy every day, more than once, and um. But he's got an amazing album coming out, and it's uh, so diverse. It's awesome. uh, you're gonna get a taste of everything, Stellar. and Stellar. you're gonna really appreciate uh, his uh, skills, um, not just as a um, speedster or a metal. Um, he's got I a just, touch of everything. You're gonna love it. I just discovered that uh, I, like Kid Kane was saying, how. Um, if you go through YouTube, you're seeing stuff that's older stuff, not newer stuff. And I saw one of his songs that he wrote, I think, I believe in his girlfriend named Amanda or wife now. And yep. he, wrote, he wrote the song called Amanda and I listened to it and I was like, Oh, you play guitar like this. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I, I'm always, he's rocking it. And I was right. just so surprised. I was, it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How do you, how do you think I felt? I'm thinking, yeah, one day he's going to call me to play acoustic. And then he plays that. I'm just like, fuck. All right, I lost that job, too. Beautiful song. So I want to give a few mentions um, and shout-outs to um, Set Up by Marshall. I'm, I'm, in, I'm involved in his community. I'm a member. Um, and he released a, he's got a lot of good stuff he puts out, aside from uh, him repairing guitars and, and, and um pedals and whatever it is he's working on he's uh very talented and um professional he started uh, gigging he was really excited um he's got this uh stream um called i2 um the ir2 report card um from he he bought this little uh, pedal and he brought it to his first gig and he just shared uh, the experience with it and um it's a boss um i went on quickly to the local music store online and and i'm gonna rent it out for a few days just to see if i like it it's really good stuff i mean these guys are professional um i consider them professional artists because they go live they've been live um there is a difference i'm not putting myself down but i really respect what they have to offer um because they've been there and and he, he explains things so simply. He's just a, a great guy, so I wanted to shout out that channel. Um, there's a few, um, uh, a, a real good supporter of mine and has introduced me to a lot of people from his community. Together We Are Family. It's a uh, karaoke channel. It uh, doesn't really work with my times, but a lot of times in the mornings when I get to work at 5.30, um, I get to to um, participate uh, just to be in the chat um, development of a void um, he's got a great channel he had a real cool um, stream today earlier today um, and and development of a void uh, 15th bend um, wolf seven and hetriani are working on an album also um, wow. that should have been out there be cool. that'll be so Hell cool yeah. the four horsemen <laughs> um yeah so they're all gonna release one song on this album and then do um a collaboration with all four of them on how good That'd is that gonna be, cool. be? Yeah. jackson pierce a uh, real cool dude a good friend of uh, this community um a few of our communities um music therapy laz there's another good channel i do want to shout out these three um, because early in my, before I even met anybody um, from these communities, I was always bouncing around in uh, Rich New Designs. Um, real cool dude. Um, loves his pot. Um, and you've got the too. art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Art of Floundering uh, podcast really really amazing guitarist but and the jay jordan um i do want to shout all three of them out um like i said i met them uh, a long time ago um and real cool dudes and they're gonna send me their their channel um stream times and everything when i finally put together this community calendar and i'm getting help from dj uh, big red and um 
it's going to be awesome when it kicks off. You guys are going to be amazed. I can't tell you much more about that. Um, to, to Preston Smith, uh, live streams every Wednesday night. And our man, Gary Hubs. Um, we spoke about him earlier with the support that he gets from this community. He's well-respected uh, in this community. Um, uh, a lot of us from the East Coast have a hard time staying up uh, that late at night, but he's doing really well. Um, you can watch his uh, show, uh, House Wrecker, Volume 25. I, I do have a link I'm putting it up. Watch it on replay. Um, go to his channel. Um, he'll be setting up, if it's not already set up, uh, this Friday stream. So it's uh, uh, Saturday morning at uh, 2 a.m. And um, Pacific time, that's Eastern time. Uh, Pacific time would be, <laughs> yeah, 11, 11 p.m. Pacific time. 2 a.m. Um, I'm going to stay up all night for this next Waiting one. on campus yeah. security. <laughs> we got Boltonator, uh, another great channel. He's on Wednesday night. Uh, seems a lot uh, uh, Wednesday evenings at 9 p.m. Uh, you all know where you're going to find me. That's on uh, Thomas Christ. And, um, that's where I am every Wednesday. Uh, Michael Lantier. Um, he's on, uh, he has streams on Tuesdays. Uh, don't forget Vince Janela, um, is coming up, is starting soon. He usually starts by 915. We're not far from done, but after this, um, we're going to continue, uh, until the show is done, continue to post his link. Uh, Rick Romanelli, uh, guitar time with Rick is on just before this show. So if you want to catch that, um, also, um, Axe and Nachos Monday Night Lives and Wednesday Night Lives. He's on at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, do, 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 do. We got Charlie Gabaldon. Um, he does the Happy Sunday streams and Happy Friday uh, streams. We have the Fal Crow. He's going to be a co-host on this show. Thank you, wow. Richard. Um, Wednesday uh, Lame Live. Um, Valerie Bott. Um, he's, she's got the Friday song clubs and what the flock. And then there's another one that I forgot to she put here, but she, yeah, she's, she's an amazing person also. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and she was just on, the uh, the interview with Jade, Jade and Star. yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. Killer interview. If you missed it, go back and check out Valerie back. Yeah. There was a lot I learned. I didn't know she came through the metalhead hippie community. I should have. Um, and she had a lot of real cool things to say. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, Rise of Dark Leela, always, uh, you can find her at 3.30, yeah. Monday, Tuesdays, yeah. and Wednesdays. You, you have Pendar um, yeah. with their karaoke channel, along with uh, Miss High, uh, Angela yes. Tanzer, uh, another great supporter, relatively new to this community. I've been following her for quite some time, uh, but I see she's, she's uh, making her way around these communities. Uh, Michael Songs is on Sundays and every other Wednesdays, I think it is. And we got our man, Brad Example. So don't forget, Brad is on every other Saturday. It's part of that uh, little series they have, which I dig. Um, hockey season's almost over, so I'll be able to catch uh, his times because usually Saturdays is my time with my son. Um, but they've got uh, 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 Thomas Christ at 7. Jade Star at eight, Pete Johns at nine, and then um, uh, Brad Example is on at ten. Uh, Brad, you'll find him every other Saturday, and this will happen to be the Saturday um, that he is on. And we all know what we all know, Brad. So a Canadian rocker, man. Yeah, Canadian rocker. Uh, then we have Chris and Dom. Um, I've got both their links uh, respectively. Um, Guys, if you can send me your times, I can be more accurate. Because I've got Thursdays, because Thursdays I know for sure. But I think I saw something on Wednesday. Yeah, they used to be yeah. on Tuesday. Dom yeah. did. And then I think he switched to Wednesday. Yeah, so if you guys send me, I can I can be more accurate. And, but, and I also think I saw something Saturday now. So anyways, uh, if you send it to me, I can post it. Again, my, my buddy Dave's music videos, really nice uh, channel to check out. Like I said, um, especially if you're around my age, um, you're going to end and a lot of new stuff. 
but you're going to find music, like I said, that you're never, you would have never thought you'd hear again. And he's got some real cool videos to go with it. And uh, another Canadian uh, rock star, JM Unleashed. Um, he has uh, some Words Matter games, uh, fun interactive game uh, like Scrabble. He's on every Thursday at 5 p.m. Um, check that out. And um, really cool guy, another great supporter of so many in this community. And Lars Guitars, which uh, Larry is also going to be on this show coming up soon. And um, Milestones, Metalhead Hippie. Let's not forget this one. Uh, this coming Friday, he will take, he's going to take metal even from old metal um, that you've got. It's, uh, it's his four year anniversary. And so Friday, April 12th, mark it down on your calendar. And I just received an email, Jeff. I don't know if you're still out there. I know you're, you're going to be heading to Vince Janellas because he's a great supporter of Vince's channel. Uh, Matt uh, sent me a link to say that Matt's got a metal song that he's going to be premiering on that show, Mateus, um, and uh, collabing with uh, Jade Star. So, oh, that'll... yeah, I can't wait to hear that. So, um, yeah. And then let's not forget Inga's birthday. Um, happy birthday inga this happy is birthday. inga's birthday week um i don't know if any of you caught what she did for 15th feb when she grabbed you know called a bunch of us to do whatever it is we could do um in a nice little treat for 15th ben for what he's done to for his bensters and she felt she took this, uh, the bull by the horns and put together a nice little video um so it's really it cool. Beautiful. So happy birthday, Inga. And uh, thank you for all you do. And that's it for my shout outs. Um, once again, if if I missed a few people, believe me, there's a, a lot of work and time that goes into these. I don't just grab the song and then and I will I listen to the song thoroughly right through, um, whether it's a 30 minute uh, track or a two minute track. And if I've missed any Chris Durham, I think I missed him. And I'm glad I just looked up um, Chris Durham uh, music channel every Monday at uh, 1230. Um, you'll find him live uh, for about half hour. Correct me if I got the right time, Chris. Um, I don't have the right time. Thank you, Indy. Um, and that's it. Uh, anybody that I've missed, anybody have any premieres coming up, milestones, anything? Uh, nothing's too silly. If it's a 200 sub milestone, 250, a 50 milestone, 99 uh, sub milestone, anything you can think of, a birthday, I will shout it out. And uh, if you see anybody in the community that's done something special for somebody else in this community, Please send it my way. I'm not going to see everything, but I do want to shut it out because once again, this is what it's all about. This isn't about promoting me as an artist. This is about promoting all of us as a community. And I strongly believe it. And um, I'm trying to put out the best uh, musicians uh, that we have, all of us, but I'm trying to introduce a lot that we haven't uh, heard a lot of or seen, put faces to names, like KVK yeah. said about Kid Kane, yeah. if in case you missed the interview with uh, Jade. Um, this is what it's all about. Let's rock and roll and let's grow together. Let's, let's get it. back to this um, track. I think, um, I think it's also awesome to see the soul behind the music. <coughs> Just cool. learning about different people and, and you know what inspires <coughs> them and keeps them going and how I think honestly that everybody in this community, their music heals others. Yeah, totally. I totally oh, agree. One hundred percent. People get to express themselves in different ways, whether we can be a freak or we can be like real heartfelt, or we can be, you know, um, right on with electronics, piano. Uh, everything is just moving, and I love all the diversity within everyone that I listen to, you know, over the, the uh, maybe I've been with 
hippie for about and on the community because hippie started me to the community um about a year now maybe just a little bit over a year so if hippie's celebrating four years yeah. that's gonna be wild hippie right? is the og here yeah let's uh let's not uh forget that right <laughs> that's right it's, uh, yeah he's brought uh let, that's why I said I was surprised uh, with the Valerie. Bi I shouldn't have been, but she had a lot of amazing say things to say about Jeff. Um, he's the OG in this community, uh, along with uh, Pete Johns. Um, that oh. this is where it all started. Uh, they're going to continue sharing and playing our music for us, and this is why I say I think it's really important that these uh, five. Uh, uh, six that I introduced at the beginning of this show, um, the big six, that we support them. We continue to support them because uh, they're playing our music and they're spending, I can I can tell you how much time they must be spending because I know how much time it takes uh, to put this show together, let alone 43 songs and having to talk about each one and uh, it's amazing what they do. They give us a platform to play our music, so they need our our support to do it. And um, yeah, yeah, you all totally. know how I feel about that. What would you say, Frank, to the to the new artist that's shy to come out? What would you say? Oh Jesus, I don't know. Um, a new artist that's shy to come out. Yeah, a new um, artist. Like, there's a lot that. You know, they sit back, they got music, yeah. they've been listening, they've been lurking, but maybe they've been too shy to express it. You it know out. what? I don't even know if it's about the music. I think what's what's happening with the uh, Indies panel and and uh, Jade's platform, maybe a platform like this. Uh, well, not this, because I don't invite people on it. But a lot of these uh, panels that you see, jump on them. So my advice uh, to to those, and yeah, I'm not going to give any names, but there are a few people say, no, no, there's no way I would do that. Just jump on these panels, sit there, <clears throat> enjoy, savor, um, just be there. Um, yeah. And then you'll feel more and more comfortable. It, it's just Always. about feeling comfortable, right? Yeah. Yeah. We get into this comfort zone of, of the chat. And, and so you're zoned into that only. You got to, my advice is just step out and join some of these panels. Uh, Chris and Dom uh, have have these streams, Camp Chime. Uh, there's so many out there, and I know I'm going to miss a bunch, but just jump into those panels. Uh, Indy will welcome anybody. You're respectful. Uh, you're in this community. You're on our panel, just like that. Um, so to those that, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Totally, totally agree with you. Totally agree. Because, yeah, for the most part, you put a guitar or that instrument in our hands, and we're comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. It's just being comfortable holding that. Yeah, honestly, at the beginning, whenever I still, well, n maybe not so anymore. You can't shut me up now. But <laughs> I used to just sit there with the guitar in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should uh, just shut up and play some music. Stop asking okay. me questions. I'm not. I have a question for featured Scott. artists. There we go. What instruments all do you play? Um, I have a tiny little keyboard, MIDI keyboard, and I can play any instrument through it. I have a Geiger guitar. It's an Ibanez, but I don't play it because I haven't. I've tried with uh, a tuner, and I've tried without it. I can't learn how to tune the damn thing. So. That's why I don't play it. But I can play guitar just a little. I just can't do that. <laughs> so everything goes through my mini computer. And um, I also do loops, do like drums. And that's oh, how yeah. I get my bass and drums and keys and piano. Loops, yeah. Loops is where it's at. True. Thank God that somebody created them or I wouldn't be doing music, apparently. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> You would have found a way, trust yeah, me. Probably. <laughs> Old pots and pans. Hey, I need a table, a spoon, and some glass dishes or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Cowbell, ding, like ding, that. ding, ding. That's it. I wrote a song like that. Sometimes basic is what it's needed. Yeah, it's true. 
you know. So, All right, I'm gonna get on. I'd love to get on to the next song. Um, yeah. You wanna you wanna introduce it? It's your uh, collab, Scars. It's with Emperorism. This was awesome. It was fun. I danced in my living room in my PJs and recorded it. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and it was fun. And when I when I first listened to me singing, I'm like, this sucks. I sound like crap. And then I listened to it. I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. <laughs> so I love it now. Actually, I actually love it. I'm like, I love this song now. Yeah. What a what a collab. This is like a great vibe. I've been it's in my head every time now. First, I, I love it. it. I yeah. think Imp is amazing too, and Kate Kane, you're amazing too. I'm so, and I have a, a <laughs> secret uh, collab I'm working on now, but I'm not going to say who it's with yet. Uh, so, you, well, yeah, you I, I, did you go to the 15th Ben School of Teas? No, oh, maybe <laughs> I did now. Um, <laughs> I think I might be out on hippies show on the party, oh. but I'm not sure yet. I won't know for. No. Uh, so, yeah. Now I feel bad. I got to get one out there. That's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you, you do get it in time. I still want to work on your song, New World. Oh, hey. I want to do something, but I don't know. I, I have to think about it, <laughs> how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. See? <laughs> the song what? of the year is coming back, Frank. <laughs> that song's amazing. Thank you. So let's uh, let's get on to this. Waste uh, that uh, tastes so good. Um, a collab with uh, Emperism. Let's do it. Oh, I get to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I said, I get to smoke a cigarette. Maybe I should mute everybody. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I just have a little issue. This is your last song, right, guys? There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Wild stars. Nice little. That, eh? Look at funky, that line. Seductive. Yeah. I love it. Serious. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. Everybody likes pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sweetest pie. I love it. Oh, that just. Gets you in that mood, right? You know, it's. I was on the roll with with posting. I was like going to the beat. Well, I'm gonna happen? be honest. When do, em do, do, when do, do, emperism do, do, do. sent that to me, I was like, oh my god, I've never. I because I always sing slow. I mean, everything's slow, pretty much. And I was like, uh, am I gonna be able to do this? <laughs> So no, I was that, that was that was nice. That's nice when you, you when you get a different taste of something too, right? Because that's slightly different than. And I didn't make anybody cry. <laughs> hey, fantastic! What a what a song! Great, love it. Love the energy behind it. I was doing this in the background. You do, Bray? He's what? phenomenal. I when I first heard him, I was in chat and I said, "Will somebody please wrap him up, put him in a box?" And send him to my porch <laughs> as a gift, please. Yeah. Multi talent there, yeah. He's very, awesome. very, very yeah. emp world. I'm call I call him emp world now because he his his house is like a world of instruments. Just at his leisure. Go ahead. You haven't seen his ceiling yet, though. I'm sure. Like no, I haven't. It's probably <laughs> wicked, eh? It's I know. I always tell him uh, it's it's a tourist attraction for sure. It should yeah. be deemed a tourist attraction. He's probably got keyboards nailed to his ceiling so he can just like hits a note. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, over here. <laughs> and if he doesn't, he probably will now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to look for him again. Scapular winging records. Uh, Brock is in the house. Um, I have some good news. So as you guys know, the, the co-host gets to choose an artist or sometimes if I go with the artist, they get to choose the co-host. So Scapular Winging Records um, um, put in uh, two, uh, three, three or four different, you know, wishes to be a co-host. And um, obviously one, just like so many of you, folk punk is, seems to be always one of them. And uh, Thomas uh, Christ was uh, the other one. And I just received an email just before the show. Uh, Brock, uh, Thomas would be honored to co-host uh, oh, the show. Cool. So that's coming up on the... I do want to shout this out. It's... Uh, to, 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 to. I should be better at this. Yeah. So it'll be uh, May, May 6th. May 6th. All right. Huh? No, sorry. <laughs> Did I tell you I suck at this? May 27th. <laughs> so I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah. This is uh this is going this is going as good as I expected it to, if not even better. And um yeah. I'm really wow. happy to have you both on. Um, this so has much. been a yeah, yeah. we I'm have so much 
Yeah, you were at the beginning, but you you seem pretty relaxed right now. And this is this is what it's all about, right? I mean, it's just hanging out and you know, um, just shooting the shit, really celebrating the artist, you know, and because uh, you have so much talent in you, and we're gonna, you know, just keep plugging away at what you do and want to continue with the flow of it. And uh, like you're exploring new avenues with, with collabs and it's giving you new, new, uh, new light on, on uh, like, you didn't think you could do things like you were saying, you didn't think you could write a song that has more of an upbeat tempo. Right. Yeah. But as soon as you got into it, look at that. Right. It was fun. <laughs> Boom, in the name of hippie, right? Boom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in the name of everybody in this community, everybody's brilliant. Yeah. I so I don't want to, I never want to rush this show. I really don't. But I also don't want to, um, I really love um, winding yeah. down and, and checking out Vince Janela, if we can continue po posting his screen, stream. If, um if you guys would love to jump over there and just um, um, let them know, I'll be there in a few minutes. But um, we do have another Scars and Shadows track, and I really love this one. And um, this one's uh, Until Until You Bleed. This is the abuse song. This is to help the other women realize they can get out of an abusive relationship. Oh, and this God. is has such an important message, Scars. This is so well written. I mean, I had Thank to. Thank you. I felt like a kid listening to a Zeppelin song. Like it just brought me back. You know, do you guys oh, remember wow. when you used to lift, lift the needle and write down the words, put the needle back down, play it, lift the needle. It's like this is just so beautifully written, and it's got Thank such you. an important message. I didn't in it. think it was that good. <laughs> Oh, if you, yeah, you. Let's, let's see what everybody else thinks of this song. Um, oh, man, I'm way behind on the chat. Um, so, yeah, so let's uh, let's hit play and then we can talk about it. And what happened last time before I hit play? I forgot to hit pause, but I hit the 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 speaker off. So it played right till the end of this video. <laughs> Yep. Oh, I did it again. Oh, <laughs> let me take this. <laughs> Go, <right>. Frank. <laughs> you got this, buddy. <laughs> You're making me nervous, for fuck's sake. There we go. Play. Oh, 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 oh,
knocked her right off. <laughs> I almost knocked you off the show, Scars. <laughs> what an encore. <laughs> that was freaking beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. It's how I fantasized about how I wanted to kill him. <laughs> what it was about. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, you... It, it, no, it's so true, right? You got to put yourself right in there to yeah. get that lyric out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's sad, I though. You, I felt guilty have... for feeling that way for a long time, but 
it was justified. <laughs> yeah, that that was this chat was lit up. I thought it was all caught up to the chat until I saw I love this collab with Emp, and I'm going, Jesus, man. <laughs> I'm like three songs behind. You're doing fine, Frank. I appreciate but, you doing this. All I'm just so grateful. I appreciate it. But nevertheless, this chat was lit up all night. I couldn't telling you I couldn't keep up every time I hit it. It was like it would just go up. I had to go find it just to hit hide. Or yeah, this is uh, once again. I really appreciate uh, you accepting this and and both of you coming on. Yeah. Um, I, I mentioned to Kid Kane, uh, I consider the dynamic duo with uh, Hetriani and Hubs. And then I, I got the, the privilege of listening, we all did, of Marcus Cannell and Auntie G. And then Beautiful. now comes uh, both of you. And I think it's, 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 it's match made in heaven musically. I think you oh, guys are brilliant. just perfect. And um, I know I'm speaking on behalf of everybody. I can't wait to hear you guys um, come up with uh, some more tracks Let's together. Let's do it, Stars. I'm looking you, forward to it. More, more music, more flavor, you know. I agree. Well, it, um, and it's I'm, a perfect match because you're, you're brilliant. Uh, I know what you can do musically yeah. and, and lyrically, but I'm saying what you can do musically and what she can do with lyrically – uh, the feel yeah. it's 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 yeah it's it's and we write about similar things in the world totally yeah uh, yeah the you're pain and the the this array the world the is in right darkest now. places that people don't want to be absolutely you know? or they have to be in but they have to find a way to escape it and the only way to do it is writing a song about yeah it. absolutely that's the yeah. depth about music. There is so many different layers and levels, you know, um, loving it. And uh, I'm hoping to do some more with you, Scars. I would so, love that. Absolutely love that. Yeah, you rock, girl. You rock. I want to <laughs> thank all the mods for their amazing work you, uh, that you did. Um, everybody in the chat for all your beautiful thank comments. You and I love you all everybody. dearly. We love you all for sure, 100%. You're our world out here. This is where the spider web grows, right, Frank? Right, Stars? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. And um, hopefully we don't get stuck in it. But <laughs> <laughs> we just got to keep rising and we rise together. Um, yeah, thank you, Indy. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And once again, if I've thank missed you. a few uh, shout outs, um, please send me an email. Um, chances are we don't miss him two weeks in a row. Um, next week is, like I said, next, like I said, and I have to check, right? There's my memory. We have uh, East Virginia as a co-host, um, and it'll be Rose Ackerman. Um, go check her out. Um, you'll love what she's uh, putting out there, and we'll get to to know her a little bit uh, more next week. We're going to do a test, uh, three stream yard test throughout the week Dude. and we'll get it all set up. Let's all go to uh, Michael. We'll talk to you soon. Michael Thompson. Uh, let's all go over to um, Vince Janela's and um, let's support um, our buddy Vince. He's got some great music out there. He's a, a shredder and, and uh, an amazing guitarist, amazing person. Vince um, Thank you all for coming out and Love I can talk all. forever. Thank so you. thank you, Scars. Thank you, kid. Thank you. We'll thank talk you. to you both soon. Yep. Good night, Bye. everybody. Good night. Cheers. Take care. Love ya. you. Guys Love rock. you guys. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> <laughs>